Hello, Algebra 2 students. This is a continuation on the concepts that were discussed in the last video. Uh, the last lecture was on long division, polynomial long division, and today we are going to study synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is a simpler form of polynomial division. There are less places that you would make a mistake. However, it cannot be used in every polynomial division problem. The only time that you can use synthetic division is if your divisor, the thing you're dividing by, is degree one or a linear equation. Those mean the same thing, right? This is like a linear equation. It's like mx plus b. Uh, it's also considered degree one. Uh, if there were, were an exponent on the x, it would be one. And so in this problem, we can use synthetic division. But in a lot of the previous examples that we talked about, like this example here, you're dividing by x squared, so you couldn't do it. And same with this example. So. This is one we can use synthetic division on. And uh, in this problem, uh, the setup is different with synthetic division. Instead of uh, putting your divisor on the outside, you're actually going to put what makes your divisor 0 on the outside. So notice that uh, this is x plus 3. What would, make, what would you plug in for x to make this 0? That would be negative 3, of course. And uh, rather than making your division symbol like that, we are going to visit the upside down and make our division symbol upside down. Kind of odd. You're going to imagine that there are two rows in this synthetic division symbol, uh, one row here and one row here. You're going to put all of the coefficients for the polynomial that is being divided by, being divided in the first row. If there were a missing term, you would have to put zero there. That's really crucial. Um, but there isn't in this problem. So we're going to start with two and then 1, and then negative 8, and then 5. These are the coefficients of the x's, right? In front of x squared is 2, in front of x squared, in front of x cubed is 2, in front of x squared is 1, in front of x is negative 8, and the one with no x is 5. So remember, the number out here is what makes your divisor 0. So your first step here is going to be to drop the first number and write it right there. Uh, much like with polynomial division, uh, your answer was what was written at the top. Uh, your answer for synthetic division is going to be what's written underneath. And in this problem, it's going to be a 2 that's going to start it. So you drop the first one. And then you're, whenever you have a new number here, you're always going to multiply it by this number here, in this case, negative 3. And you're going to write it right here. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. With long division, we subtract it all the time with synthetic division. You're going to add. I really talked a lot about that in the last lecture, how students often can you know, make mistakes in their uh, subtraction. You also have to remember that long division is subtraction and synthetic division is addition, or you're going to be confused. So here, you need to add these things and write your answer here. Remember, your answer is going to be what's down here. 1 and negative 6, when you add those together, make negative 5. And then repeat the process. Multiply negative 3 times negative 5 and write that here. When you multiply those, you get 15. Add 7. Multiply those, negative 21. Add negative 16. Your answer is going to use these numbers here. How you are going to actually divvy it up is first kind of remove the last number. Okay, This is going to be your remainder. So in our final answer, it's going to end with plus negative 16 over x plus 3. How do we get that? Well, negative 16 is the remainder, and what we're dividing by is x plus 3. Then work backwards. 7 is going to be the term that has no x. Negative 5 is going to have a negative you know, uh, 1x. And the x squared here is going to be with the 2. And that's your final answer. So start with the last one. This is the remainder. Then it's no x, then it's 1x, then it's x squared. And this is your answer. I'm sure you're seeing that like, wow, that was significantly easier, significantly quicker. Remember, it can't be used all the time. So that's why we need both. Let's try another. So here we have. 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 17x plus 12. That's being divided by 2x minus 3. 
we need to figure out what makes 2x minus 3, 0. If we're not sure, we can set it equal to 0, add 3, and then divide by 2. You would get 1.5 or 3 halves. That's what's going to be what goes on the outside. And then all of the coefficients here, 2, 3, negative 17, and 12, are going to be uh, the first row in our synthetic division symbol. First step is to drop the 2. That's going to be part of your answer. 2 times 3 halves is going to be 3. And then you are going to add these. When you add those, you get 6. Now do 6 times 3 halves. Whenever you write a new number down in the bottom row, multiply it and write it in the next spot. So 6 times 3 halves, 18 over 2 is 9. Add these together, you're going to get negative 8. Negative 8 times 3 halves, of course, you can be using your calculator for this. Negative 8 times 3 halves is negative 12. And 12 plus a negative 12 would be 0. This means that 0 is our remainder. This one gets no x's. This one gets 1x. And this one gets an x squared. So because it doesn't have an remainder, I'm not going to put, put plus 0 over whatever it is. So your answer here is just going to be 2x squared plus 6x minus 8. Let's do one more where you uh, we get set up together, and then you pause it and see how it goes. Uh, in this problem, 2 is going to be on the outside, because that's what makes this 0. And then put all the coefficients in the first row, 1, 5, negative 7, and 2. Push pause here. See if you're able to figure this out on your own. All right, hopefully you guys got the right answer. Uh, you're going to first drop the 1, multiply 2, add 7, multiply 14, add 7, multiply 14, 16. This one is your remainder. This one gets no x, this one gets an x, this one gets an x squared. So your answer would be x squared plus 7x plus 7 plus. 16 over x minus 2. And this actually should look familiar because in 5.5a, we did this exact same problem using polynomial long division. Okay, It, it did take more work, more time, but notice we got x squared plus 7x plus 7 over 16 uh, over x minus 2, the exact same thing that we got right here. Please let me know if you guys have any questions on synthetic division. This is going to be a concept that we're going to be utilizing in the next section in a slightly different fashion.